Good morning, good afternoon or good evening wherever you might be. Welcome to part 6 of planning and constructing an Excel spreadsheet. When we left part 5, and there are links to the previous parts in the description below, we saw that Joe's income, expenses and employment details were here. We'd put a little chart in and a menu system up here which took me back to wherever I needed to go and uh, I was able to navigate quite simply with that menu system there. However, what we want to do is to finish up with a spreadsheet for Joe that looks like this, where we've expanded the budget part, the yellow columns, with the figures that we saw back in the other file, but to make it a true budget we need to know what the actual expenses were at the end of each month and then work out what the differences are. So what I've done here for January and February I'm going to show you the formulas which I used and incidentally how I put that little divider in there really quite simple uh, so that the uh, information presented uh, more easily readable but I've left March, April, May and June blank because I want you, if you wish, to download the file from the uh, link in the description also below so that you can practice yourself on the, on the file to master these techniques. I'll also show you how I expanded the chart down here to show you the um, uh, differences, the actual, etc. for the various months. So, how did we do it? Well, first of all, we had to fill in the actual income and expenses and then using formulas here work out what the difference was between the actual and the and the budgeted figure. So in this cell what I did was to insert a formula here which deducted the budget figure from the actual which showed me any difference. So for example in the investments Joe received an extra $11 so the formula here which I simply achieved by auto filling the formula into those cells and then in the uh, cell here in E8 uh, you'll notice that I've added those um, differences to show me what the total difference was. In some cases down here where there has been a variance going the other way, that is a negative variance, I have had those show in red. And the way I did that, and you might like to make, make a note of this, was to click on the select all button in the absolute top left hand corner which selected the entire spreadsheet and then in the home tab in the drop arrow for the number group I went to custom and I said I want any figures which are negative to be shown in red. So I used that particular uh, set of coding there. So we can see if it's, if it's um, uh, positive it's going to show in the normal colour font but it will be in red, see the divider there, the um, semicolon. Uh, in red if it's a negative figure. There's a little negative sign there. So that was all I did. Now, click in here to deselect to put me back where I was and to go through the rest of the formulas this formula here, the total monthly expenses adds from E11 down to E16 and I see that the difference was $222. The gross income uh, was the uh, D20 minus C20, that one minus that one. And similarly the tax, which I worked out at 25% just to pluck a tax rate as it were, uh, there was an extra $3 uh, tax to be paid. So the the difference was minus 214. In other words, the actual uh, net income was um, $214 less 
than the budgeted income. And uh, uh, in the main, that was brought about by the vehicle expenses being higher, up $124, another 100 here for the other expenses, etc. Now, for February, I didn't need to rewrite the formulas. All I had to do was to copy and paste them into the various cells. So uh, that saved me quite a bit of work. And again, you can check those by clicking on the cells. And um, uh, if you wanted to copy that across to March, all you would need to do would be to right-click, copy that particular formula, and then right-click and paste it into that cell there. So you don't have to write the formulas again, you can copy and paste. Escape takes me back to where I was. These dividers were quite easily arranged and all I did, and perhaps it might be easier to show you back in the uh, Joe Citizen one, all I did was to insert a column by right clicking on the column heading and then insert and then what I did was to uh, actually I'll just do that again there right click and insert so this this one here uh, I simply made that narrow by resizing and then dragging down through those cells being carefully careful to drag all I had to do then was to fill them with whatever colour I chose. I chose a darker grey. So that was how I put the divider in. Really quite simple. We'll undo that last action. Put that back where it was. Save the file. And back to Joe Citizen 3. Here we are. So you can see I've done that. And if you look up carefully here, you'll see that the uh, columns had simply been resized here after inserting a blank column. The chart, which uh, uh, was easily resized uh, by clicking on the chart area, and then I simply had to use the resize button here to resize the chart by simply dragging it across to whichever width I wanted and uh, that was how I did that. So the menu here, let's click, that takes me back so that will show when I first open the file I want to see the position so there we go and uh, it's quite easy to navigate that particular file. There's quite a bit of formatting involved in terms of the colours, uh, the forecast uh, is in yellow in the column and the various months the actual is in blue, there's a little legend here so I know what's what because I may not be the only person who is using this file, it might be used by other people to enter data and they will need to know uh, what is what. Um, also the borders, uh, there was a bit of uh, fiddling about with the borders um, but uh, the uh, formatting of borders is covered in an earlier part. So remember you can download this file, it's completely free for practice, please do so and you'll find that your uh, Excel knowledge increases dramatically and you finish up with what is quite a professional looking worksheet. We're using a simple worksheet here in terms of Joe Citizen for his income and expenses but this very type of spreadsheet is used widely in business for budgeting and in the actual figures and the differences so people can know uh, where uh, their company or firms or their own personal situation stands. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe unless you've already done so. And we'll see you next time. Bye for now.